Here with Morehead basketball coach Jack Baker, his team won tonight 43 to 41 over Green Run in the Atlantic Conference Nine Showdown. They moved to 15 to four overall and 11 and one in the conference. Coach, let's start there. You got two games left in the conference. Green Run's a team you've had a great rivalry with. You've lost five of the last six. You guys have all the close games to win this one tonight. By two, you've got to feel sweet. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, we worked hard all week on defensively and, and trying to do some things and, and making them shoot the basketball. And, you know they're 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 very well coached and, and, and you know obviously they're talented and uh, uh, this is a big week for us being, being Salem and uh, Green Run so uh, you know we're pleased right now. Yeah, back to back that's not too shabby. You started out I think, in a two three zone, mixed up some late, maybe some triangle two three in late. Right. But defensively, what was the game plan? Was it to make them shoot threes and keep it out of the right. paint? Yeah, make them make them shoot the ball from outside. Um, uh, you know, and then the other thing that they really hurt us first time was rebounding, and, and we hit, I thought we did a pretty good job tonight. Of limiting them to one shot and uh, uh, you know, so make them shoot from outside and then you'll get the ball. Absolutely right. Only six offensive rebounds for Green Run. They shoot four, 21 from deep. You get to halftime and you have a 21 19 lead. They had one of their key guys get over with an injury, and Ashley James, the sophomore, I think it was a wrist injury. But did you feel like, though we're in front of controlling this game, that we're not really controlling the game, it's still dicey at the halftime? What'd you tell the I guys? Did. I did. I, yeah, I, I felt like, you know, just watching the game, I felt like we should have been up eight, ten points, and mm -hmm. we go in up two. Uh, but I liked our effort, and again, I like what we were doing defensively, and we, we just kind of stuck with it, and, and I like the way we grinded. Uh, you know, we got a little lead, and they made a, made a run at us, but we, you know, we, we, we showed some character against a real good team. Well, I thought I got to lead in addition to Chase Coleman, who we're talking about in a second here, is Darius Kemp. He had a big jam, another basket game that helps you that nine-point cushion. He's a guy that came off the bench, and the game of the three runs, it seemed like the team that has that six-man step up, they usually win. Yeah, Darius did a great job for us tonight. Uh, uh, first time he's dunked all year, to be honest. I, I just told uh, Coach uh, Plummer, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a nice little layup, but, uh, you know, I, I, that pumped us up a little bit. I'm sure it pumped him up and gave us a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, uh, Edge going in. <laughs> we'll talk with Chase Coleman here in a moment. But, Coach, uh, Chase tonight, 14 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds. The game is tight if they come from 9 down. Uh, the confidence to have the ball with his hands down the stretch, uh, what, what did you see there? What I didn't see. I didn't see anybody else I wanted to have the ball. <laughs> 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 Nothing I saw is what I didn't see. Uh, no, seriously, in that situation, we, he's got to have because uh, he's going to make things happen. If he doesn't have his own shot, I know he's going to get it to the guy who And so, you know, I can live with that all, all night long. And, uh, you know, tonight he made the plays. And, you know, it's, he's been playing extremely well the last three weeks of this season. And we'll ask Chase about this in a moment, but you've asked him more to score and not just be a distributor. He gets 14 points tonight in addition to eight assists. I think this game commanded that for him down the stretch to take the ball and go to the hole. Right, he did. And, uh, you know, and other than that, he's also our best foul shooter. He should 80 some percent from the line. So, uh, you know, we felt good that something good was going to happen because you're going to get a good shot, somebody else is going to get a good shot, or he's going to get fouled. It's good these days. We could have shooting 60% years ago. Yeah. The last one, to get this win now, what would it mean to get that automatic berth going to regionals, knowing that you got the likes of Hampton and Bethel waiting for regionals, but you might have to avoid Blue Water Salem in a conference semifinal. How big is that? I think it's huge. I think, you know, and I just told him, you know, these are two great wins, but they don't mean anything we're going to get two next week. So, uh, you know, that's, that's big going into that conference tournament, knowing you don't have to beat it real well or sail and get there. So uh, next week's huge for us. So you know, hopefully we'll be ready. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Okay.